Hey guys, so I just filmed wait, this tutorial and kind of messed up on the eyeliner because you know me, I can't do eyeliner. So, yeah, so it's just um, using my Lancome palette with all the pretty neutral colors. I wore this look in my last video and I thought it was really pretty, so I just decided to do oops, um, a tutorial on how I wore this makeup. Because I love this palette. This like would remind me like of like the Naked palette because they're such natural colors. And these two are matte and then these two are shimmery. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. And if you want to find out how to achieve this very neutral eye, then keep on watching. Okay, so let's just get on to the tutorial. So obviously this is the eye that is done and so I'm just gonna be zooming in on my eyes yeah okay so this is the finished eye and one focus now we're just gonna be working on this eye so again we're just gonna be using the little then compel if this can focus Lancome with all of these gorgeous colors. This palette doesn't really remind me of an ice cream, but whatever. So we're just going to be taking the shimmery white color right here. You can just take any finger because you really don't, oh sorry, you really don't need any brushes for this tutorial, so uh, just take that and just tap it on my finger. If that will focus. Yeah, okay. So just need about that much awkward position. Oops. I'm just going to be putting that all over our lid and make sure you get that in the a little bit in the inner corner too and you can add some in the inner corner after this look is done if you want for just a shimmery um inner corner whatever and if you need some more you can always go back and get some so yeah so it's all shimmery and nice and now we're going to be taking uh Okay, so if you need to, I'm just going to be using this little these little brushes because these are like the only brushes that I have. And these little brushes I got from my 380B Walking on Eggshells palette. And this is the Neapolitan palette, as I call it. So, I'm going to be using this brush. And we're going to be taking the matte brown color right here putting it on the tip of our, your brush that's not really on the tip okay and just putting that in your crease oh, this is hard and it should be like a thick line over your crease because it will turn out looking better so then it turns out like that. Sorry about the awkward lighting. Just in your crease, and you can also work it in a thick line down if you want. That's how I did it, but you don't have to listen to me. I'm just to be taking like the more, I don't know what to call it, but you can just blend it out and work it up if you want to. Now I'm going to be taking the shimmery brown color right here and we're going to be using this brush again and we're going to be using the shimmery brown color as a definition to our eyes so you can just take that color and you can just pack it on there on this side of your eye like so 
and then see how that kind of, okay. Let me try to turn off the light just so you can see it. Off. Look like that, that, sorry, but like this is like the natural lighting now. See how it's all kind of like packed in there? We're gonna be taking this brush again and you can just, just work with it with this brush. Just blend it out so it looks way better than you already have it. Sorry about the really bad lighting. This is why this is looking like a really crappy tutorial. But it'll get better. Okay, ah, I just have something in my eye. Okay, I think I got it. Okay, so then we're gonna be taking. No, wait. We're gonna be taking this brush. Sorry. We're gonna be taking the last color, which is the matte white. This kind of is like a tan, like outside of the camera, but it looks really white. So it's kind of like a tan white-ish color, but it's more of a tan color. You can just take this fluffy brush and pack that on, tap off any excess all over the built-in mirror that comes inside. See all that? And just put it as a highlight. Never mind. I thought someone was coming over. That would be embarrassing. Okay, then it should look something like this. Very, very white. Exactly. Okay. Now onto the fun parts. Eyeliner. So you can use any liquid eyeliner that you choose. You could, yeah. I'm using the L'Oreal... What is this? Just the L'Oreal. And it's in black mica. See if you can see that. Oh, it's coming out. They can't see it. Never mind. And this is just what it looks like. And I'm gonna be pulling my eye for this, so sorry if y'all get offended by that, but I want to see how that's funding. So you're gonna be doing a pretty thin line. Sorry. Oh, I didn't really bring that in the inner corner on the other eye. Let me do that. Totally messed that up, but... Oh, look! I'm so good at makeup right now. I swear. Let's just focus on this eye now. See how messed up all that eyeliner is? Yep, I'm a total genius at makeup. Okay, now let's just move on to mascara and get this over with because I'm starting to turn really bad at this makeup stuff. Just remember, if you smudge all your eyeliner, you can just put back on that, all that shimmery color. So, hopefully it'll look better by the end of the day. Okay, whatever, I don't really care anymore. Okay, first mascara I'm going to be taking is by Alme Intense Eye Color Light Interplay Technology Mascara. If it will freaking focus. Thank you. So you have to just apply that all over your eyelashes. So I don't know if you guys already know this, but I love um, packing on mascara. I love thick lashes on me. I think they look really pretty and bold. But if you... So we're going to be putting on two coats today. But if you choose not to, then you can stop at one mascara or one coat.
And then the other coat that I'm going to be using, which you don't have to, you can just stop at the mascara part for this Maybelline New York Illegal Length one. And with this one, I'm going to be putting on my lower lash lines as well. Now I'll just zoom out for like the last part. Oops. I'm so sorry about my nose. I'm like breaking out like all right here. Because I break out in that place. Now you can just use any lip gloss that you want. I'm using um, Expose by Smashbox. And I'm running out of it as you can tell. But... Or you can just use any lip gloss that you want. But I found this in my mom's makeup stuff. And found it to be a very nice color. It's kind of sticky though, but it's really pretty. Okay, time for the last thing. Okay, um, so you really don't need any face makeup for this stuff, or for this tutorial or whatever, because it's pretty natural, and it's summertime, so you really don't need any face makeup, unless you choose, so you can put on face makeup if you want to. But, ooh, look at my pretty flower. But, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Sorry about the crappy eyeliner and stuff. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.